हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर एंड्रॉइड एप डेवलपमेंट लेक्चर सीरीज गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एंड्रॉइड मेनूज लाइक ऑप्शंस मेनू कॉन्टेक्स्ट मेनू एंड पॉपअप मेनू सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ एंड्रॉइड मेनूज ग्रेट सो इन एंड्रॉइड menu is a part of user interface component which is used to handle some common functionalities around the application by using menus in our application we can provide better and consistent user inter experience throughout the application we can use menus apis to represent user actions and other options in our android application activities we are familiar with the menu menu item menu separators all these in the java c sharp and all other languages also similarly we can create our menus in android in android we can define a menu in separate file that is dot xml file and use that file in our activity or fragments based on our requirements great so it is very beneficial because we have to use that same xml file in number of different different activities so once we created that menu file that is menu x.xml file in our resource folders menu subdirectory then that same menu we have to use on different activities or different different fragments also great guides so define an android menu in xml file for all menu types android provides standard xml format to define menu items great instead of building a menu in our activities code separately we should define a menu and all its item in the xml menu resource and load that menu resource as a menu object in our activity or fragment so multiple times same menu we have to use on different different activities instead of creating the menu on the separate separate activity code great so hope you understand why we create the menu file in the separate xml file guys hope you understand yes let's move so in android to define menu we need to create a new folder menu inside our projects resource directory so that is resource that is main directory inside that menu as a separate sub directory and add our new xml file to build menu with the following elements so what are the elements of that menu xml file so first is the menu it's a root element to define the menu in the xml file and it will hold one or more elements great so menu is the first element in the menu's xml file what is the second element that is item so it is used to create menu item and it is separate a single item on the menu this element may contain a nested menu element in order to create sub menu when we create sub menu so inside item tag we have to again create menu sub tag so it it is creates sub menus also great guys hope you understand and third element of that xml file of menu that is group it's a optional and invisible for the item elements it is used to categorize the menu items so they share properties such as active state and visibility great so these are the three different elements of menu file great so in item element in menu supports different types of attributes to define its items behavior and 
appearance so what are these different attributes of item tag great so commonly used item attributes in android applications are as follows first android id it is used to uniquely identify an element in an application second one is the android icon it is used to set items icon from drawable folder next attribute of item tag that is android title it is used to set items title so these are the commonly used attributes of item tag great or item element great so in case if we want to add sub menu in the menu item then we need to add a menu item element as the child of item so when we add menu in the child of as a child of item element then that menu becomes a sub menu great guys so this is a simple structure to create the menus and the sub menus and each menu sub menus consist of item elements great guys hope you understand great so when we create our menu file that is menu.xml in menu folder then how to load android menu to an activity so once we create or done the creation of the menu we need to load that menu resource from our activity using menu in flatter dot in flat method so using that in flat method we have to load the menus in our activity file for example main activity dot java so for that which class is there menu in flatter is the class and which method is there in flat method is required great so we will study all this in and demonstrate it using android studio great guys so next after loading android menu to an activity it's time to handle android menu click events so how to handle that events so in android we can handle a menu item click events using select item selected event based on the menu type so based on the menu type we have to use item selected event great so these are the main steps so what is the first step first step is create the menu inside the resource directory then create menu example.xml file inside the menu subfolder then write the code inside the menu file after creating menu we have to load our android menu to an activity and then handle android menu click events that is event handling great guys now but in android there are different types of menus available so basically there are three fundamental types of menus available to define a set of options and actions in our android applications the following are the commonly used menus in android applications so what are that so first is options menu second is context menu and third one is the pop up menu so these are three different types of menus commonly used in android applications great so we will study all these three types one by one in this lecture we will study options menu with suitable example great so android options menu with example so in android options menu is a primary collection of menu items for an activity and it is useful to implement actions that have a global impact on the app such as settings search etc great so in android to define options menu we need to create same steps that is first we have to create new folder called as menu folder inside that inside the resource directory and then we have to create xml file for example menu.example.xml file inside the menu directory 
great this is the first step and then write the code so menu is the menu first tag inside that item so you can write android id that is the attribute of that item id and give the id name for example at the rate plus id slash search item that is the name of the item and what is the title that is the search like this you can add number of different items inside the menu if you want to create sub menu then you can write child menu as a item as a parent so inside item you have to again write the menu tag then it creates the sub menus also great guys so as an example we can create different items that is search upload these are the menu items inside the menu tag great so after creating different items close the menu tag great guys so hope you understand how to create the menu file inside the menu folder great guys so it's time to write the code inside the main activity dot java so inside main activity dot java will load that menu xml resource file from our activity using which method that method is on create options menu callback method so using on create options menu callback method we can load that xml menu file into our activity that is main activity dot java great guide so what is the code for that so code for that is override on create option menu method inside main activity dot java and use get menu in flatter dot in flat and pass the file name that is r dot menu that is the sub subfolder dot options menu great guys so menu is the sub options menu this is the name of the file inside the menu subdirectory great guys and menu pass the menu name and return true because it returns boolean value so return true so this is the first method that is on create options menu callback method so we have to implement it which load our respective menu file from that menu folder to our activity guys hope you understand this and next one most important method that is on options item selected so override this method that is on options item selected method and give the message which you want for example selected item and which option item we have to select it that title so item dot get title that message is popped on your screen great guys after that you can use the switch case method and give the actions for selected item for example in switch item dot get item id so which item id we have to select it that that is the expression this is the switch there is not condition in the switch statement in switch statement this is the expression and this expression value expression is matched with the case value so if that match r dot id dot search item and this get item id is matched then you can write your own code here so what is the action you want as per the search search code we have to write inside this case great similarly for upload if that is matched item selected is matched with the upload item then you have to write the code to upload the file great so similarly we can write the code in the switch case and using this switch case we can give the proper actions for the selected items from the menu great guys hope you understand now it's time to demonstrate our menu using android studio so let's move to our android studio so guys first close our current project click on the terminate then create new android project select the template that is empty activity click on the next button give the name to your application that is 
menu demo great so click on the finish button yes guys hope you understand so wait for some time to gradle building and upload uh, the our project on the android studio so let's remember what are the different steps first step to create menu folder inside the resource directory then create the menu example.xml file inside the menu subfolder write the code in the xml file that is menu xml file after writing the code write the code in the main activity dot java file in main activity dot java file we have to overwrite two methods one is on options item selected and other method is a on create option menu so on create option menu uploads your menu file into your activity that is main activity dot java so we know that so step by step we can write our code first what is the first step inside the resource folder create one new directory give the name to the directory as a menu and press enter so menu directory is created inside the resource directory in menu folder right click and create new menu resource file new then give the name to the file so i have give them as a menu example underscore example and click on the ok button so it creates menu underscore example dot xml file so here we have to write our code of menu so menu is a menu first tag inside that we have to create items so what is the code so first is item android colon id that is the attribute so id is equal to in double quotes at the rate id search underscore item so this is our first item inside that write android colon title so what is the title so title is suppose search is our title then complete our item tag so it creates first menu inside the menu okay so main menu inside that we have to create first item after that you can create your own another android dot id great so at the rate id give the name suppose copy underscore item okay then android title so choose android title and give the android title that is copy great and last thing that is close the tag properly that is item tag great after that you have to create again your android id inside that you can give the name to the id that is print item great then android title so what is the title print print is the title and close the tag properly last we have to create fourth menu sub menu or uh, menu item inside the menu tag so item means menu item great so 
Android ID. What is the ID? Suppose upload item. So upload item, then Android title. And what is the title? So title is upload. Great. And close the tag properly. Guys, hope you understand. So we have to create menu, menu tag. Close the menu tag properly. Inside that menu items, we have to create search, copy, print, upload, menu items. Great. Hope you understand. Then, now, next thing that is from XML file, we have to delete hello world great then in main activity dot java what we have to create we have to create overload two methods great so first method that is at the rate override okay so which method we have to override yes so override Which method we have to override? Public Boolean That is the return type of the method What is the name of the method? On On create Options Menu Great And inside options menu we have to pass Menu Great. So press Alt Enter or import the class menu. Great. Now, now it's time to write the code here. So what is the code? So first get menu get menu in flatter dot in flat pass two argument one is the resource folder integer value okay and second one is the menu so first what is the first thing r dot menu this is the dot menu example great comma menu as a second argument great guys after that, what we have to do? Return true because we have want to return boolean value. Great, guys. Hope you understand. Next, we have to override So we have to override second method and that method is public return type is boolean name of the method is on option on options item selected and pass the argument value that is menu item as a item great okay so now it's time this uh, this method returns the true value so before that first give the toast message that is toast dot make text and inside that make text what value we have to displayed that is selected item colon great plus item dot get title so we want to get 
title we have to display that is selected item is equal to copy upload or print or search so selected item which item we have to select it, that message we have to pop or toast on our emulator guys hope you understand yes so it's now time to write actual actions using switch case so switch inside switch item dot get item id so depending on item id that is expression we have to write our cases body so case first case that is r dot id dot get so search item if that id is matched great then what we have to do actually we have to write here code which code so we have to write action here and then write return true okay so today we will see only demonstration of the menu so we does not add the source code for how to search the items how to upload the file how to print or how to copy okay you can write your action afterwards great so next case case r dot id dot copy item in copy item also you have to write your return true great next case case r dot id dot r dot id dot print so third case is print item then return true great then last case that is cased r dot id dot upload item so what it returns it return true great so last thing when we write switch case last case is a default case if it is not match with the given cases then default case so what is the default case it return super that is called the constructor of super class dot on options item selected great and what we have to pass menu item that is item so this is the reference variable of menu item so pass the menu item great guys hope you understand yes okay so if you have any doubts let me know in the chat box or comment window great i hope you understand and enjoying to write the code for menu item and menus great guys so it's now time to run our application so let's run this app now using run button so gradle build running then execute the task and our app is installing on the emulator we will again revise our steps so first step is to create menu folder inside the resource folder then create menu.xml file inside the menu folder then write code for menu and menu item here in the menu.example file great so this is the item its id title great after that we have to write code in the main activity dot java in main activity dot java we have to override two method one is the on create option menu and second one is the on options item selected great guys so write the code as per our requirement great so our app is installing on emulator 
so open our emulator and check this is the menu demo that is our name of the app inside that this is the menus so inside that search copy print and upload that is menu item inside menu these are the four menu items click on the search button then it gives selected item search great if you click again on the upload menu item then it gives you selected item upload menu item great if you click on the print menu item then selected item is a print great so it's work now it's only you have to write our action part how to search the element how to copy the data how to print the data and how to upload the element all this code here inside the switch cases guys hope you understand if you have any doubts let me know so thank you thank you all for watching my videos